The blitz that has taken the Madden community by storm right now comes to us out of the nickel 3-3 Cub. You can find this in a lot of playbooks. I believe it's also in the Raiders playbook. I'm in the multiple defensive playbook. But what we're going to do with this is you can run this out of man coverage or zone coverage. If you're going to run it out of zone coverage, you just need to blitz your linebackers. It's just an added adjustment, but you can globally do that. Now, if you want to get my full ebook on this, it's available on my school website. The link's going to be in the description below to sign up for that. It's only $10 to become a member. It gets you access to everything over there, all the ebooks, all the updates for both Madden and for college football. Now, the setup for the Blitz is really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to shift our defensive line away from the tight end. So in this case, the tight end is to the right, so we're going to shift left. We're going to crash out, and then you can actually take the linebacker that is on the other side of the formation and put him in a zone. And what you'll see is oftentimes you'll either get a B-gap or edge rusher that's going to come free. Really, really nice little defense. Now, let's say, for example, that the tight end was on the other side of the formation. Then what we would do is we would just simply flip to the other side. I also like to recommend here that you stand um, on the running back side of the of the blitz, so or, of the formation. I think that's going to make the blitz a little bit better because when they start blocking their running back or they start blocking their tight end, the reason we want to shift away from the tight end is because the best way to pick this blitz up is to flip and to put the tight end on the side of the blitz, and oftentimes this is enough to to basically pick up both the five and the four man version of this. As you see right here, it picks up the blitz pretty well. So what I like to do is shift away from the tight end so that we're never in that situation. So like if they flip, we shift. Now, if they block the tight end, what oftentimes is going to happen is you're still going to get that really fast B gap or A gap pressure on the right hand side. The other thing that I wanted to mention here real quickly is that if you if they block their running back, so let's say that they're going to block their running back on you, this blitz can still come in. The four-man and the five-man, 100% can still come in. This has been something that's been true of Nickel 3-3 Cub for a very long time, that when they block their running back uh, against this, oftentimes he's going to step up into the A-gap, and as you see, we're getting really good pressure against a blocked running back. So this is the 3-3 Cub Blitz in a, in a quick format. I wanted to just break this down real quick for you guys so that you had the information that you need to be effective. And if you want to learn everything that I do behind this defense to make it an entire defensive scheme, make sure you join the school page. The link to sign up for that is down in the description below.